Good things are coming my way. Good things are coming your way. If you say your positive phrases every day. I started doing it two years ago. And some really great things happened in 2021 and 2022. Especially 2022. I was saying good things are coming my way. I made videos about it from here. I was doing it every day. And something amazing happened to me last year in 2022, in the summer. <clears throat> and I had an opportunity just pop up out of nowhere, thanks to my friend Andrew, who was a stand-in. We worked, he was a stand-in for Jerry Seinfeld. I was a stand-in for Jim Gaffigan. I worked on the movie Unfrosted. It's coming out on Netflix, May 3rd. I worked on the whole movie as a stand-in, so I'm not going to be in the movie, so when you watch it, I'm not in there. I was stand-in for lighting <laughs> for the DP, which is, you know, it's a great job. You learn a lot. They teach you, you know, you, you watch the actor, you stand where they stand, and you do what they do. You know, you move, look, sit. So the crew can set up the frame just like I'm setting this up I'm using myself as a stand-in with all these shots <laughs> teaching myself cinema cinematography with my iPhone but <clears throat> the story is something really cool happened to me on set there was an actor who they didn't cast for one role they didn't have an actor on the shooting day and it was the last day of filming and there was no actor and that's never happened before so they asked the stand-in to do it. And they asked Jerry Seinfeld's stand-in, Andrew, to do it. And he said, I think Evan should do it because he knew that's what I want. And he knew I was excited about it. And he didn't want to do it for some reason. And he just wanted, felt like being giving and just doing an amazing thing. And it, <laughs> it was like a gift from the universe. You know, I've been saying good things are coming my way for a year and a half up to that point. And so they let me do the scene. I did the scene, they rolled the cameras, everything. Jerry Seinfeld gave me a standing ovation. He said, wow, he's like, Evan, that was amazing. I really enjoyed both of your performances. He's like, you really left it all on the field. And he had this like happy look in his eye. He was like actually excited. Everyone like gave me a standing ovation. There was clapping, there was, People said, you did, you did, that was brilliant, good job. And one crew member said, well, the only thing that's next is they just cut you a check and you're in the movie. You know, for a second there, <laughs> I thought, man, maybe I'm gonna get this part or something, you know. But the only reason I did it is because they didn't have an actor and they wanted to get the shots and then they were gonna have to do reshoots, you know, with the real, whoever they cast later. And they ended up doing that. But, you know, they wanted to have something to work with in editing post-production. Just so they have the scene done. So they can edit around it, you know, and use it. And then go back and do reshoots when they cast the actor. You know, and I, I know that I didn't actually have a chance of actually getting it. Because I'm not a name. And I probably didn't do a good enough job actually get it compared to the person who did it I can't really I'm not gonna say what it was or any information because it's not out yet <sighs> but when the show comes out I'll tell you what role it was but that role is in the trailer <laughs> and that and the person did a great job I could tell so they made the right decision they cast a really famous you know comedian and it was an awesome movie, but just the experience, the whole point of it is it happened. I did the scene, I was nervous, I, I channeled that energy into 110%, I gave it my all, and that they like gave me feedback, like actual feedback, standing ovation. Jerry said something about getting me a part in this damn thing, or best part. I, don't, I couldn't hear exactly what he said, he might have said I had the best part in this thing. Um, 
you know, he said, at the 11th hour performance by Evan Campbell, the last day, you know, people were clapping. They, were, they weren't expecting, you know, a stand-in to do that, a job like that, to actually do like a real acting performance. And just the fact that I got to do it and that I didn't crumble under the pressure really meant a lot to me and I need to like hold on to that because it's a sign that I can do it. Jerry loved it. He said he really enjoyed it. So that's, you know, that's, that's a win. That's a success. Even though I didn't get cast, even though I'm not in the movie, my name's not in the credits, I get none of the recognition. That's fine. You know, it's totally fine because I'm just somebody, one in a billion, you know, just wanting to work in the industry and wanting to do a job. And you have to do the job good. And I did it. And I did a good job. So that just means that next time I get an audition or I get book a little thing here and there, you know, just slowly claw your way up and never give up. That's the, and, and believe, and have faith. That opportunity came out of nowhere. I mean, just the fact that I worked on a Jerry Seinfeld movie is, you know, it's, it's awesome. It's a win. It shows that it, it works to say good things are coming my way, to believe in your dreams. It's proof. That's, the, that's living proof. But last year, 2023, it kind of went through the dumps with the strike. And it started getting negative. And I started forgetting to say my positive phrases. <sighs> it's life. But I'm back at it. I'm back at it. And I want to help other people. And I want to help people on my channel. I want to show you cinematic shots that you can do it with just your phone and show you proof and give some kind of motivational help that you can live your dreams and you can do whatever you put your mind to. You just have to believe, 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 believe. And you can even just fake it until you make it. You, you, <laughs> you act like you believe, you know, because Faith and belief is actually a thing in and of itself that works. So you just have to do that. You have to believe. And that will work. So you can, if you don't believe in like your dreams are too big, but if you can just believe in the fact that belief works, you can slowly, you know, start getting on the train and maybe get somewhere. We're a long process. It's a 19 year process for me. <laughs> that's my, that's my speech. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, watch some of my other videos. I'm making cinematic, theatrical stuff. I'm trying to make a movie. And, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to warm up by the fire. It's freezing out there. Thought I heard something.
That's a really cool shot. <clears throat> now I'm standing behind the camera just watching, but look at the blue sky. It's way past sunset now. This is a really cool theatrically looking shot. All I did was position the camera with the fireplace in one of the quadrants. <clears throat> so my hands are in, kind of in the middle. I don't have any lights on in here except for the bathroom light. Now if I turn the kitchen light on, it'll, it'll light up the ground a little bit more and sometimes that's cool. But I wanted to try it out. Just as dark as almost can be <clears throat> except for the fire. Now if the fire, if the flames were bigger, it would be better. Thanks a lot. I hate to tell you, Martha. Bad news. <sighs> Just have to try again.